Alrighty guys, Frank back with you again with another video, flavor of the day, doing cheesecakes. Here's the final three we're going to do for this week, and three very different cheesecakes. Three that are, two, one that's extremely popular, one that's kind of popular, and one I think is going to become more popular just because of some business decisions that have been made in... I guess you could say in the e-liquid community or the flavor community. Let's start off. We got Flavor Art New York Cheesecake. See this bottle's kind of getting kind of old. I don't use it a whole lot. This is a really good strawberry cheesecake is what it is. Kind of like what you would use, uh, like one flavor of strawberry cheesecake. This, you're not going to hide the strawberry note. I don't understand why they call it a New York cheesecake because I mean, it's a little bit of that tartness that you get from an authentic New York cheesecake, but this is very much heavy strawberry. What it is. It's, a, it's a, more of a strawberries and cream, in my opinion, than a cheesecake, but a lot of people use it. That's why I wanted to bring it up. Next one. this Now, this one, Bull City Flavors picked up a lot of the Perillium line, and this will definitely... Uh, take center stage with that line a lot of people are going to get it but toasted coconut cheesecake from Perillum this flavor is one that it's got a lot of things going on with it it's you got the coconut you got the crust you get a little bit of cheesecake hiding in there somewhere but it does a lot of things it doesn't do them all well I guess you could say really great but they don't do them bad either. So it's kind of like if you want to just add another cheesecake flavor to a mix, you can mask the cheesecake. I mean, you can mask well, the cheesecake kind of gets lost a little bit. The coconut kind of gets lost a little bit. You get a little bit of that, you know, that, that, uh, that crust, you know, the bakery note in there. That's basically what you're going to get with it. And then here is hands down my favorite and probably the most popular cheesecake flavor out there and that is capella new york cheesecake so you got a big ass bottle over here big four ounce bottle this you get you get that butyric note you get that sharpness you can build on it you can add some more cream and get rid of some of the sharpness and smooth it out if there's no crust whatsoever it's a cheesecake filling which is fine by me I'll throw a little cookie on there, call that a crust, and call it a day because I don't like a lot of graham crust anyway. I like, you know, I don't mind a little bit of crust in my cheesecake, but not a lot of graham cracker. I said, I'm going to pair it up with this TFA cheesecake, and I might be able to, I'm trying to get a cannoli filling. Might be able, that might work. That might work for that only feeling that i've been chasing now for as long as i've been mixing it literally just hit me while i'm talking about it all right let's go down to elr let's uh see some notes from some other mixers look at some recipes and then we'll be done let's go everybody all righty here we go right off the bat toasted coconut cheesecake from perillum uh see rin says very nice flavor just wish they made just a toasted coconut flavor by itself don't get much cheesecake and the coconut seems to get lost when you add other flavors that being said still a great flavor single use two percent mystic rose used at six percent uh in a troll rda steep times four days and three weeks sweetened coconut flakes very dominant a hint of sour cheese, dirty feet in the back, not getting any toasted aroma. Uh, off notes like coconut cream pie. Uh, yeah, pairing with some tobaccos and some other, I mean, other cheesecakes and stuff like that, ice creams. Anywhere you want to add toasted coconut note. Uh, let's see, anybody else? Let's see, Leilani, grainy, graham crust with smooth cheesecake base, toasted coconut notes make this dessert flavor tasty and unique preferably used as a base with the mixing possibilities of this cheesecake flavor endless mm, maybe no diacetyl acetone or acetylpropanol that's one good thing about it is it doesn't have any of this that stuff in it so it can be used more commercially uh commonly used with 
sweetener, of course, then New York cheesecake, graham crust cheesecake, graham crust cheesecake from Perillum, which I do not have, unfortunately. I do I may need to pick that flavor up though just to just to see what I'm missing. I've been hearing some good things about it. I've got sweet coconut, graham clear, graham cracker clear, cream fresh, you know, fresh cream, uh Perillum sweetener, coconut custard from Wonder Flavors, and of course New York cheesecake from Capella. Only 61 public recipes. The oldest one dating back to 2017. Or at least the, and the high, high rated ones. That is from Moonbeam Cheesecake from Silhouette. And here, this mixer uses uh, the Prillum Cheesecake Graham Crust, Fresh Cream, French Vanilla, New York Cheesecake from Prillum, which has another good flavor. Toast Cooking the Cheesecake at four, and Vanilla Pudding at one and a half. It's different. It looks decent. I can see where they're probably hiding some flavors in there see Rin did one snowball effect where she uses chocolate with it uses liquid born lava cake and juice took those coconut cheesecake some whipped marshmallow and some yellow cake that's i like that's interesting it turned into a lovely hostess cupcake yeah because the coconut's not doing what she wanted it to in that case uh let's see fresh is stormy nights uh, it has apple filling, apple pop, coconut custard, uh, F.A. Pear, salted caramel, flavor west, a little bit of sweetener, Thai apple, toasted coconut cheesecake at three, which is a prominent note in this, and prominent flavor in this mix, and yes, we cheesecake from Inawera at 1.6. Rich caramel cheesecake with some apple slices. Okay. It's for Stormy, it must have been a uh, wishing well, 2019. Uh, let's see, Mary Beth uses it in the Lioness Cocotta. Uh, coconut candy at one, condensed milk, desiccated coconut, marzipan, sweet coconut, toasted almond, and cheesecake at three. It is a Brazilian street food. This flavored confectionery is amongst those Brazilian desserts which have many variants. The traditional ones are oven baked golden brown goodies with chewy and soft texture. Other variants include cocada cremosa, which is a pudding like creamy texture, as well as cocada de corte, which uses condensed milk instead of water. If you enjoy a thick, creamy, sweet coconut vape, then this one's for you. Made for Fresh Air 3 show with the MMA theme, I chose Amanda N Nunez, the lioness from Brazil. Okay. Not much on MMA, but I totally get that. Don't kill me. I know it's just it's not something that I'm into. All right, let's move over to let's see FA New York cheesecake. So we already talked about a few things. I'm sure a lot of people are going to should be saying the same thing. Yep, yeah, light cheesy flavor, nice uh, cream, creamy mouthfeel. I said I I get a lot of. I get mostly, I get a lot of strawberry from it. See a couple mixers here don't seem to get a lot of strawberry. Oh, Juice Junk even says similar to Soho. Maybe it's 6%. Yeah, maybe. See, Boogan Shiz on the Vainboy knows FA. He's one that knows it. Yeah, Great Graham Crust with nice cream fission. Finish doesn't have any. He says he doesn't taste any berry at all after a six week steep. Maybe I never let it steep six weeks. Say so it's not one I reach for. Interesting mix that he's talking about here. Using FA of three, apple pie point four, FA yogurt at one, Vienna cream one point three, red touch at three, flavor revolution sweet strawberry, which I could not get my hands on before it sold out at one point four. Sorry, I just had I don't know what the heck that was on my floor. <laughs> Touched my feet. Still not sure what it is. And uh, let's see, use some sugar daddy sweetener. Uh, let's see. A lot of people are saying a lot of the same things. All right, let's go down. Let's see. Common uses sweetener, graham crust, meringue, uh, vanilla ice cream. Uh, 
graham crust cheesecake, guest with cheesecake, marshmallow, Bavarian cream, fresh cream, and cookie. A lot of people aren't saying strawberry. I get strawberry from it. I, maybe it's me. I don't know. Maybe, you know, I know my shit's broken, but still. You know, Bougenshiz are here, Florida kayaker. It's also one of his names. Yeah, he he uses it at three with the in, Indian mango special, mango Indian special, which is like the only mango I like, and vanilla ice cream 1.5. Two weeks deep, yes, it is. A, it's a very good mix. Now that mix, I'll admit, the mango overpowered everything, so I didn't get. I didn't get. Uh, didn't get much strawberry in that one. Here's strawberry cheesecake 2018 from Vaping Surveyor. Here he uses Hanks and cheesecake at a quarter, glazed strawberry at one and a half, graham crust at two, Greek yogurt at 0 0.12, uh, Italian cream at 0.15. I'm not sure how he's getting these down to those drops. New York cheesecake at three, shisha strawberry at a half, and yes, we cheesecake at a quarter. Okay. New strawberry cheesecake loves this base. Yeah, it, interesting. And you know, Vape Surveyor is an excellent mixer. So, <coughs> excuse me. Let's see. Boogan Shizzle again, strawberry cookie. Use it two point five. Use it some red touch. Sugar cookie, sweet strawberry flavor revolution. Cap V one. You know, breakfast cereals, these breakfast cereals, I get like a, a little bit of a chocolate note, so. Maybe like a strawberry chocolate thing going on there. Let's see, uh, cream cheese danish from Tears of Crimson. You know, Michelle, let's see, she got uh, Innerware Biscuit at one, Brie cheese at a quarter from Flavora, uh, cream cheese icing, 1.5, New York cheesecake FA at two, uh, sugar cookie v2 at two flavor sweetness at a half and vanilla custard here is mix she did not use vanilla pudding holy jesus wow check that out so she can do a mix without pudding well, this is 2019 too still she can let's see here's fresh o3 guinness in the dark uses it at one boysenberry raspberry black currant a little ice cream at six and we'll putting it 0.75 all right let's go on here new york cheesecake capella yeah contains acetone acetylpropanol oh well three percent i use it too some people use it lower i like to use around right around two percent we only need to look at notes i even know you know pretty much know everything we need to know about it let's see a lot of a lot of mumbo jumbo. A lot of stuff we already know about this flavor. It has that che sharp cheesy note to it. It's, oh, yeah, and better. I haven't seen him around a while. Cream, che cream cheesy bitterness. Works amazingly with fruit. Because the extra sharp cheesiness in this flavor. The sharpness helps push fruit notes to the front. Unlike heavier creamy flavors, that can round off them or mute them. Exactly. Exactly. This, this flavor does a lot of that. Where it, it, it will boost up some fruits, especially berries. Strawberries, your raspberries. Raspberries, for sure, it'll definitely push them raspberries forward. Get over here. Let's clear it, clean this up a little bit. All right. Let's see. Common, common uses. Uh, vanilla, you know, common pairings with almost 51,000 mixes with vanilla custard. Uh, 31,000 with sweet strawberry, 29,000 with sweet cream, 21,000 with buttercream, 20,000 with graham, cr graham cracker from Capella. Then it'll be an ice cream at 18, sweetener, graham crust cheesecake, 17,000, strawberry ripe, 17,000, graham clear, 15,000. No surprises there. Top rated, I bet it's going to be some something with like a unicorn milk or something, I bet you. I can get it to come up. There we go. Let's see. Is it going to come up? There we go. What a surprise. Third World Order Maiden's Milk. I told you it's going to be some kind of mother's milk. Has it at 3%. Right there. Sweet strawberry, sweet strawberry at 6. You know, cake batter, graham crust, all your normal things you're going to see in a, in a mother's milk, unicorn milk type of mix. Uh, Creed's Custard. If it, simple this guy let's see forever in a day six weeks still isn't even enough 
Uh, he used it four and a half with vanilla custard, methyl maltol to help round off some some sharpness, and the vanilla custard at six. Yeah, it takes forever to mix. I mean, forever to steep, but it's it's good. It's worth it. Yeah, we all know. Here's one. Someone saying this is cut wood unicorn milk. It might be. I don't know. I was never a big fan of cut wood. Uh, using it as an additive at 0.5% to make their unicorn milk. I see you know, strawberries, ice creams, you know, typical, typical stuff there. Uh, juice fairies, pistachio brulee with Soho. I like the sound of that. That just sounds good. AP at 0.1%. FA marshmallow at 1%. New York cheesecake at 2 Pistachio at seven, RY4 double at one, Soho at three, vanilla custard at one. Picture doesn't look very good, but it's pistachio. It's going to be funky looking. I don't think anybody sees how long that mix. It looks like some probably need to steep a little bit. I'm going to say at least a couple of weeks. I'm guessing, I would say two weeks, even though she doesn't have it. She doesn't have it on there. That would be my guess right off the bat. Let's see. Here's Wayne's. A real strawberry cheesecake remix. He uses graham cracker at 1.5. New York cheesecake at 6. Strawberry ripe at 3. Sweet cream, sweet strawberry, and sweetener. Sweetener was a little high, 1.5. But then Wayne does like to sweeten his mixes a good bit. And plus, that's 4 years old. But still... We know how Wayne likes to do that. Unicorn milk cone, clone from Not Charles Manson. Use it 1.5. Help boost up the custard and the meringues and other custards and creams he's got going on. And basically to for that, get some cream going that sweet strawberry and use the 8% in that mix. I just saw, what did I just see? Sherlock Ohms. Pudding in the butterscotch. Yes. I just mixed this up recently. This is, a very, this is an awesome mix. He liked it so much, he mixed a liter of it before he, when he released it. Uh, Flavor Butterscotch at 2, Butterscotch Dripple at 8, Custard Premium at 4, New York Cheesecake 2.5. So he's using it to boost up the creams in the Ripple and in the Premium. Very, very excellent mix. Picture looks like, you know, it's British, looks different. And righty gang. Well, there we go. We have, let's see, three more flavors. Hopefully, this clears up a lot of confusion with cheesecakes. I said, New York cheesecake, you're not getting any crust. Cheesecake graham crust, you're probably getting the most crust. And then everything else is in the middle. Everything else is kind of in between. You use them the way you want to use them. I said, best of the rest, I can name off the top of my head. You got Loran's cheesecake. You got... Flavor West Cheesecake, Bait Train Cheesecake, which is kind of bland. Not a lot of cheesecake. The crust is kind of cardboardy. Uh, Mullenberry Cheesecake has a lemon note you can't get rid of, but then SSA Cheesecake has a slight lemon note that you can build off of, So, and it's a little bit better cheesecake. So There's a lot of different things you can do with cheesecakes. A lot, you, know, you can use them to, as a cheesecake base. Incorporating different ones together to make your your perfect cheesecake, or use them to give some extra mouthfeel, some thickness to some of your creams and your ice creams and stuff like that. But you do it your way. That's the great thing about DIY. That's why it's called do it yourself. Do it any way you want. Yeah, hopefully these uh these videos this week once they cleared up a lot. Uh, if you are on Facebook and you're not a member of the Beginners DIY group, go check it out. Uh, just a couple of quick questions you can answer. Nothing, you know, just covering, covering our ass with Facebook. So we can keep the group going. And that's it, guys. All right. Be safe. Wash your hands. Don't talk to strangers. We'll see you on that next one. Hopefully we will see you live Saturday night. Everything goes right. All right. Bye, everybody.